Hello, my name is Musa, and in this tutorial, we'll be working with the request response a hosted REST API. It's a free alternative to JSON placeholder. One great feature of request response is the avatar. So we're going to be creating a practical use of this third party IPA using the avatar property as well as the name, etc. to implement the data on the browser window in a kind of real life use case scenario to get to grips with the um, using third party IPAs. In terms of technology, we'll be using just plain old JavaScript, including the Fetch API and some CSS for styling, of course. Hopefully you'll learn something from this tutorial. Okay. And um, yeah, let's begin. Here we have the uh, request response uh, file with an index HTML, a script JS, which is empty right now, and a style .css. Um, and obviously we just connected these. Let's just begin with the HTML first. HTML is very simple. Just a UL, which will contain class of list container. Oh yeah, and that, this is what we're going to be making. This is the end result, forgot to mention. Um, so we have so essentially, each one of these is an ally, which is in this UL. We're going to use a fetch to, to get these requests. And here's a, each one of this, each one of these. So we're using fetch and then using map to loop through the, um, the JSON. Okay, let's just open this up first. Hold that there. Move that over. Bear with me. All right, let's begin. So we have that. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got the UL, the list container. That's all we need for this a bit. Um, now we have the script, which is the fetch. So we're going to fetch the this. Oh, we just want that. Take that. Take that. Fetch. Then get the response. Um, response. Turn it to JSON. Stream it to JSON. Then get the JSON. Using the arrow function here and then return. Let's just have a look what we get. Um, yeah, so we get it successful. So we just have the six of the um, of the um, properties and um, yeah. And let's dynamically add them to this. So what we'll do is, what I'm going to do is return it in a back ticks instead of press it, instead of um, the plus and concatenating with the plus and um, quotes. I'm going to copy this in because you don't want to see me type in. Add that in. 
So we have an li here with the div of the image, which the avatar is going to be. Um, this bit here. Then we have name container. So there's two. Then these are spun, so they're going to be together naturally. And then the email bottom, just to add more content. Um, so we have first name, last name, email, avatar. So let's add the um, the first one, which is the avatar. This is how to add when using backticks. So we. Oh yeah, sorry about this. Um, my mistake. Essentially, what we need to do first is put this using the map method. So we get in this JSON here, this data, we're going to loop through it. Um, let's get more information. So the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. As you can see here, if you go on um, Mozilla documentation about map method, it's a high order function. Um, so you want to get the data, let's get the data, then map through that. If we go up here, if we just do dot data, give you a clear look I'm working with. Um, so we map through it. This is the call by function. Call each one EL element. Then add that in. So we have EL value element. Then we have each one. So mapping each part of the, um, the data dynamically uh, avatar and we have first name Then we have last name. I'm just going to copy this. Last name. Then we have email here. So we just do it again. Dollar sign brackets el dot email. Okay. So that should. Oh yeah. So now. So we map through it. The the um, markup's got the um, the new array. So now we're gonna Im add it to this list container. URL in the document dot query. Container in a HTML markup. So here we have it. We have all the information here. Um, as you can see, there's a comma, so we need to get rid of that because this is now. Um, a list, I mean, um, sorry, an array with commas now, so we need to get rid of it. So, so we use the <clears throat> the join method 
and return a new string by concatenating all the elements in an array. So as you can see a bit of a clear illustration. If you have a look at documentation again. Um, yeah, so we're going to use this one here, join. join. We're going to add it to the end of this instead. I mean, we can add it here, but to me, it just makes sense to put it here. And join. And that will make, that will clear it now. If we look at the new example, as you can see. Um, right, so now we've done that, we just need to style it. So I'm just going to add the defaults, copy the paste, the defaults in. Um, so yeah, margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, uh, box size and border box, and list style none. So I just get rid of all that. Um, body. Body is from family, some serif display flex online item center justify content center background is two eight two two three F. And I change it to sort of like a dark purple now to the card container itself. Margin fifty pixels. Background like a kind of two three one a three nine border radius 10 pixels I'm just going to copy this box size in now we add color b3 b Eight C D text align center width auto padding twenty pixels. I should see that. Looks all right. Each one's in a sort of graph card. Uh, now for the avatar itself. Round. That's because that's what we called it. Border solid O three B F C B like a turquoise border radius fifty percent padding seven pixels that's it for that. We just add a bit of Gap between these, target the um, name container, margin 10 pixels, and that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see with the JavaScript, we're using fetch, you can use obviously async await, but uh, you know, with all this, you need to. Use Babel to for the um, browsers for you put in production. Um, so we have a response JSON, not much, mostly actually HTML here, and it's, and the most vital is probably the mapping through it, uh, uh, the array of the data, and then we we pinpoint this UL. And add in the uh, this HTML with the um, removing the uh, comma. 
so yeah um this is if you want to see a good example using react okay yeah. so load yeah here we go so yeah this is a good example using react nice use of it of um different aspects of the um the uh the hooks and that's it for now thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you in the next episode